Over the last 100 years, Moraine Park's willow communities have slowly declined due to various human and environmental factors. The most recent impact occurred when fire raced across this river valley the night of December 1, 2012, and burned many seed-producing willows. I'm Karina Plikonen with the Continental Divide Research Learning Center. Fenced elk exclosures have protected willows for years, but the Fern Lake Fire sparked an even deeper commitment to restore this important plant community. New research is determining how human nature can now help Mother Nature bring willows back to this part of Rocky Mountain National Park. Marine Park is an iconic river valley in Rocky Mountain National Park. The Big Thompson River flows from a mountain backdrop, and green grass and colorful flowers blanket the ground. The peaceful landscape we see today looked very different after 70 mile per hour winds drove the Fern Lake Fire across Marine Park in just 30 minutes. While life has returned to the valley in abundance, the charred remains of willow stumps remind us everything can't recover that quickly. This particular outcome interested Dr. Kristen Kaczynski of Colorado State University, who specializes in disturbance ecology. She leads a new study that will inform Marine Park's willow restoration efforts in the future. It's looking at fires and willows, which is the perfect project for me. Um, and I really enjoy studying fires in particular because it's really interesting to see what comes back after a fire, especially in a place that doesn't typically burn. Kaczynski and her field assistant, Amy Goodrich, evaluated different areas around Marine Park. Low willow seed production became obvious when Kaczynski compared the valley seed trap counts to those from the Willow Ridge Valley of Horseshoe Park. There were about um, 250 seeds on one of the boards. Um, and throughout Marine Park, we have found a total of four seeds the entire season. Without many existing willows left to study, restoration started from the ground up. Kaczynski and Goodrich used the protective boundaries of a fenced elk exclosure to monitor thousands of seeds and willow stems hand-planted along a burned stream bed. The new sprouts now rely on their own strength to grow. So in the meantime, a willow's own resiliency could be the greatest surprise in this project. In a grove where many seed-producing willows were burned, Kaczynski remembers how the site looked after the fire. And we walked around and everything was black and charred. But then when we came out here in May, we saw that there were some re-sprouts um, happening on the willows, and you can see the re-sprouts are happening here. A fenced exclosure now protects these new willow shrubs from elk browsing, in hopes to re-establish their presence in this riparian ecosystem. Um, hopefully, in the future, this area will become the seed source for willows throughout the valley. The Fern Lake Fire provided new ground in which both willows and researchers can grow. This partnership between Mother Nature and Human Nature is critical to restoring the willow communities of Marine Park and gives us better understanding of our role as caretakers of Rocky Mountain National Park. <laughs>